Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about July 14th, uh, League of Legends DFS slate. Um, we are here to talk about a four game slate um, that's going to happen today, two in Korea and two in China, as always. Or as you know, most Wednesdays and Thursday slates <laughs> have gone, you know, have gone. But first, I wanted to uh, kind of re recap as to what ha happened this morning. Um, we had a really good night or the morning uh, slate uh, with our cash lineup. We had EDG and Gen G. Um, I think I tried to fit EDG and T1, but then it. The pricing didn't really work out with T1 being too expensive. Um, and then I, so I had to just fit in Genji and it kind of worked out with Peanut and Lahens and Genji. Um, and then overall EDG being the highest um, scoring stack of the night. So yeah, it actually turned out well. I did have exposure to LGD. I think I predicted LGD to beat um, BLG this morning, it didn't quite work out. I was very disappointed in LGD's coaching staff for benching Fearness in the top lane. And I think it kind of derailed after winning game one and lost, you know, the series ultimately. I thought it was a decent shot still to take. Um, I won't back down from that. Um, BLG played well in game two and three. Um, their jungler Khan played well. Um, so I'll give, you know, give props where, you know, where they're due. Um, but I think it's, it still was a good upset pick to make. Unfortunately, it didn't break into our, in our favor this time around. But um, here, this is the, you know, Patreon that I posted about LGD upsetting BLG. It didn't work out. Um, but all other three other games, EDG won, T1 won, even though there were some pauses during the series. <laughs> technical pause um, and then Genji dominated a sandbox uh, in game two I think sandbox gave Genji um, a, you know a tough sweat um, Genji actually had to come back from a you know sizable gold deficit to beat sandbox in, in a comeback win in game two but ultimately I think Genji like I said they're experienced with peanut and the bottom lane ruler played amazing today um ruler was the main uh main reason why they won and swept the series for genji and then t1 i think overestimated hle and the game 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 two um that's why they they had to go to the full game three um and then edg like i said jj bounced back um hacker for you ultra prime and this is what i mentioned that i don't think hacker is the reason why they could have uh, upset EDG and when I'm talking about Ultra Prime, I just don't think Hacker has that um, tendency and skills and uh, he's the type of a jungler that can exploit JJ's poor form. So I, I, I think the analysis was on point. Um, so that was good. Three out of four uh, match predictions. And then for the prize picks, prop bets, um, we actually had a decent, well, pretty good uh, slate as well. I know Icon got subbed out after game one. I think if he stayed in game two, I think this still would have hit. And then Faker was a good pick. Um, and then Bin was the only one that didn't hit. But Yeji and Flandre, um, we did a really good job um, analyzing those uh, kill thresholds. So yeah, if you're interested, um, come join me at patreon.com slash DFS underscore Chan. Um, it's only $30 a month. Like I said, it's, it's a, that, that's basically a dollar, $1 every day. Um, and you get quality content and match predictions, um, and prize picks, uh, prop bets. So come join us. Otherwise, um, let's dive into today's slate. It is AL versus TT. AL is at minus 213 and TT is an underdog at plus 167. And I'll tell you why this is, is a coin flip match. Uh, pretty evenly matched, um, in my opinion, uh, roster, um, and, and the strengths and weaknesses are very similar for both teams. Victory 5 is a huge, huge favorite at minus 1,600 over IG. Um, I just wanted to point out, well, first of all, I just want to point out the starters for uh, Chinese teams. 
uh, anyone's legend. It's the same five. Xiao Hao, um, he's a he's the reason why they go as as well as Betty and Cho Cho. Uh, it's the jungler and the bottom lane for anyone's legend that have led them to success. And then Thunder Talk, on the other hand, uh, is the same same thing. Bei Chuan has been lights out as well. And then whenever you know, as soon as they subbed out Puff. Um, and now have Kes Kepler and Yao Yao starting in the bottom lane. People that have never heard of these guys, I mean, most people have, have not, um, and they have been smashing. These guys have been really, really good. Um, I'll be, they have gone, gone up against um, mediocre teams and mediocre bottom lanes, I think, still. Um, so I think it's going to be a somewhat of a challenge for them going to go up against Betty and Chocho, which I, I think Betty, Betty and Chocho's are, are really good. So I do think um, anyone's legend will ultimately prevail, but I think Thunder Talk definitely has the tools um, to be able to match against the strengths of anyone's legend, jungle and bottom duo. Hoya is okay. I think ZDG is okay. And then Forge has been pretty solid. And then UCAL has been a little better lately with Beichuan and the bottom lane being more, you know, uh, having more consistency. I think that they helped UCAL's form to come back a little bit up as well. So anyway, so yeah, that's why I think it's a coin flip, uh, both similar t tendencies, um, similar weaknesses and strengths. And then the other match of B5, are starting Karsa at jungle again. Um, they've been swapping Karsa and XLB, Xia Liao Bao Bao um, between back, him, and, him, him and Karsa, but Karsa is starting today and Rookie is starting again in the mid lane. Um, and then for IG on the other hand, it's been uh, a mess in the bottom lane, but they're gonna stick with On and Wink um, from the last series. Wink looked horrible. He is a horrible player. Um, as much as that, I mean, I'm trying to be posit positive about his outlook, but I just feel like he's going to be out of this league pretty soon um, if he keeps playing like this. So as long as he's on the roster, IG's chances are not that great. And going up against the first team in the LPL uh, that's undefeated, I think Victory 5 should take care of business. But one, one last thing I'll point out is Mole is starting in the mid lane for IG. Uh, he is starting over Yukai in the mid lane, and I don't like it. I think Yukai is better than Mole, but I think IG is just trying to find the right combo, uh, you know, uh, just to just to try to find the right combo and play better. Um, really, that's 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 the thing. But I just don't think IG has any many paths to beat Victory Five. They're not a good team fighting team. Um, I know their strengths are probably in the top half here with Zika and June. I know An is not bad, um, but he's going up against Fotech, who's been really good, along with PP God. And then, like I said, the bottom, I mean, the top half, Zika and June, going up against Rich and Karsa, both very experienced. I just don't see that being exploited by IG. So I do think Victory 5 should take care of business here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to make out make, the, make my predictions already. I mean, I think it's a pretty simple slate in terms of the the lpl typically it's the lck uh, you know on, on previous slates that we have had huge um lck favorites but today it's a little different because we have victory five like i said i think i'm predicting that victory five is gonna win two to zero um over ig um i just don't see any like i said I mean, I, I see one path, like maybe through the top lane and then snowball with June and Zika and then maybe going, getting, going to get ongoing. But I just don't see that happening even in one game for the whole game and then end up winning a game for IG. So I think Victory 5 is going to win 2-0. to zero. And then, like I said, in the first matchup is a coin flip. Um, I do think I lean. I'm leaning anyone's legend to win because Forge is a better mid laner. And then Betty and Chocho have, you know, have been playing well. Kepler and Yao Yao, as as talented and as uh, impressive they have been, um, 
they're not as experienced as Betty and Chocho. And I do think Betty and Chocho will figure them out, um, even though I think Beichuan is a good jungler. I think he's going to go up against the tough jungler in Xiao Hao as well. So I, I'm going to have to favor anyone's legend. Um, but I think TT, if you are playing GPP, you want to have exposure to both teams here today in this matchup. I think this is the biggest, uh, this is the second um, highest kill upside game on the slate. Victory five is actually the highest in terms of over and under kills um, that I saw. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. I don't know why victory fives is so high. Let me check one thing real quick. So I do think it's going to be a SmackDown. Victory 5, Invictus Gaming. Let's see the kill prop over under. It's at 26. Is that 26? Though? Yeah, 26 still. Wow. Anyone's Legend and TT. It's sitting at 24. 5.5. Okay, so that's pretty high still, I think. Um, yeah, that's really high. 25.5. This I got these odds from earlier this morning, so maybe they have changed. Yeah, 23. 25.5. Okay, so they're about the same. So, yeah, I think I think both are good picks, like a sp good matches to target, like I said. Um, but like I said, I think that you want to have exposure to both of these teams. I think I just don't have a good lean or good firm stance on who's going to win. I think anyone's legend should win um, just based on, you know, the opponent's history and match uh you know, in terms of the, the skill levels on, on each roster. Um, but at the end of the day, I think TT has been playing well, and I, I need to kind of, you know, show them respect, I think, um, in this matchup against a mediocre team and anyone's legend. In the LCK, it's more of a, a closer matchups, I guess. Um, KT versus DRX. Um, DRX... Um, has been playing well somewhat um question mark <laughs> only because i think they have beat all the bad teams but they have lost to all the elite teams that are ahead of them um so i think they're more of a gatekeeper team probably um in my opinion between the playoff teams and then the non-playoff teams um them and sandbox probably and then drx um you know, has been, uh, who's been lights out for DRX? Zika has been lights out in the mid lane, in my opinion, and then their jungler, Piosik. Um, Piosik and Zika are the two engines uh, for DRX, um, this split. And then for KT, it has been um, in the bottom lane was aiming and life. So I think each team has different, uh, This um, these two teams have different strengths and weaknesses. Um, I do think Vikla is a better, has been a better mid laner than Arya. So I hope KT still starts Vikla, but we'll see. Um, we won't know until the confirmed starters come out one hour before the, the, the game time. Um, but I do think DRX will ultimately prevail here. Um, Piosik is a better jungler than Kuz, and I do think that will be the difference maker today. And this and Zika in the mid lane, I think that duo has been playing lights out. And I do think Deft and Barrel are experienced enough to not not let aiming and life to snowball um, uh, uh, the games and stuff. So I think DRX should take care of business there. And then in the second matchup, um, DK Damwon Kia versus Kwang Dong Freaks. Damwon Kia should win this, I think. Um, I think I see I see some paths that KD, KDF can pull off an upset with maybe Teddy getting fed and then maybe in the top lane, Keenan Ellen, but Nuguri knows how to play against Keen, I think. I mean, they've been going back and forth um, previously. Um, Nuguri has always come out on top, I think. Um, and then Duck Dom and Kellen um, are not that scary. So I think Teddy can pull this off um 
he always has to, he's like one of those one of these games where he he just carries that team and then carries them to victory so but at the end of the day i think that one kia is a better team canyon is no joke even though he's been in poor form uh in in certain games this split um but i do think canyon and showmaker i'll have to favor them over element fate here today in terms of the kill upside they're about similar kt and drx um, and dk and kdf over under were set at are set at 22 and 21 respectively so i do think it's more you know i think you focus more on the lpl games today but you know you kind of have to sprinkle in some lck team stacks uh or player stacks rather um as your secondary stack so yeah anyway that's what that's all i got for you guys today like i said i will be posting some prop prop bets um and the the final match predictions in my patreon so come check it out um, otherwise, I hope you guys uh, win some money. Um, if you guys have any questions or just want to chat League of Legends, let me know. You can reach me out on um, Twitter or on Patreon or Discord or let me know um, otherwise. Thanks. Have a good one.